Shalom, welcome to Tactically Torah. I am Heath Hayes, and this is day one, reading one of our Read the Bible in a Year series. So we're starting in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, and reading all the way through the Old Testament into the New Testament and into Revelations, uh, all the way to Revelation. So with that said, Let's begin. We are reading in uh, the scriptures, the ISR, uh, that which stands for Institute for Scriptural Research. Institute for Scripture Research. And this is the 2009 edition, so uh, we'll just go ahead and give it a go. Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning... Elohim created the heavens and the earth, and the earth, be, and the earth came to be formless and empty, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the spirit of Elohim was moving on the face of the waters. And Elohim said, "Let light come to be," and light came to be. And Elohim saw the light, and it was good. And Elohim separated the light from the darkness. And Elohim called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, one day. And Elohim said, Let an expanse come to be in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. And Elohim made the expanse, and separated the waters which were under the expanse from the waters which were above the expanse. And it came to be so. And Elohim called the expanse heavens, and there came to be evening, and there came to be morning the second day. And Elohim said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear, and it came to be so. And Elohim called the dry land earth, and the collection of waters he called seas. And Elohim saw that it was good. And Elohim said, Let the earth bring forth grass. And the plant that yields seed, and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in itself on the earth. And it came to be so. And the earth brought forth grass, the plant that yields seed according to its kind, and the tree that yields fruit whose seed is in itself according to its kind. And Elohim saw that it was good, and there came to be evening, and there came to be morning the third day. And Elohim said, Let the lights come to be in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and appointed times, for days and for years. And let them be for lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it came to be so. And Elohim made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. And Elohim set them in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And Elohim saw that it was good. And there came to be evening and there came to be morning the fourth day. And Elohim said, Let the waters teem with shoals of living beings. And let the birds fly above the, the earth on the face of the expanse of the heavens. And Elohim created the great sea creatures and every living being that moves with, uh, with which the waters teemed according to their kind and every winged bird according to its kind. And Elohim saw that it was good. And Elohim blessed them saying, Be fruitful and increase. And fill the waters and the seas, and let the birds increase on the earth. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning the fifth day. And Elohim said, Let the earth bring forth the living being according to its kind, livestock and creeping creatures, and beasts of the earth according to its kind, and it came to be so. And Elohim made the beasts of the earth according to its kind, livestock. 
according to its kind, and all that creep on the earth according to its kind. And Elohim saw it was good. And Elohim said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. And let them rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over all the creeping creatures that creep on the ground. And Elohim created the man in his image, and in the image of Elohim he created him. Male and female he created them. And Elohim blessed them, and Elohim said to them, Be fruitful and increase, and fill the earth and subdue it. And rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over all creeping creatures on the earth. And Elohim said, See, I have given you every plant that yields seed, which is on the face of the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed. To you it is for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the heavens, and to every creeping creature on the earth, in which there is a living being, every green plant is for food. And it came to be so. And Elohim saw all that he had made, and see it was very good. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, the sixth day. Chapter 2 Thus the heavens and the earth were completed, and all their array. And in the seventh day Elohim completed his work which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And Elohim blessed the seventh day and set it apart, because on it he rested from all his work which Elohim in creating had made. These are the births of the heavens and the earth when they were created in that day that Yahuwah Elohim made a earth and heavens. Now no shrub of the field was yet on the earth, and no plant of the field had yet sprung up. For Yahuwah Elohim had not sent rain on the earth, and there was no man to till the ground. But a mist went up from the earth and watered the entire surface of the ground, and Yahuwah Elohim formed the man out of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils breath of lives. And the man became a living being, and Yahuwah Elohim planted a garden in Eden to the east. And there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground Yahuwah Elohim made every tree to grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. And the tree of life in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden. And from there it divided and became four heads. The name of the first is Pishon. It is the one surrounding the entire land of Hawalah, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. Uh, Bedelium is there, and the, sh and the Shoham stone. And the name of the second river is Gihon. And it is the one surrounding the entire land of Cush. And the name of the third river is the Hittakel. It is the one which goes towards the east of Asher. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. And Yahuwah Elohim took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and to guard it. And, to guard it. and Yahuwah Elohim commanded the man, saying, Eat of every tree and of the garden. But do not eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For in that day you eat of it, you shall certainly die. And Yahweh Elohim said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I am going to make a helper for him as his counterpart. And from the ground Yahweh Elohim formed every beast and, from, and of the field and every bird of the heavens and brought them to the man to see what he would call them, and whatever he, whatever the man called each living being, that was its name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, and to the birds of the heavens, and to every beast of the field. But for the man there was not a not found a helper for him as his counterpart. 
So Yahuwah Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall on the man, and as he slept, he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. And the rib, which Yahuwah Elohim had taken, away, taken from the man, he made it into a woman, and he brought her to the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one is called woman because she was taken out of man. For this cause, a man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, yet they were not ashamed. Praise Yah. Chapter 3. And the Nahash was more crafty than all the lives of the field which Yahweh Elohim had made. And he said to the woman, Is it true that Elohim has said, Do not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the Nahash, We are to eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Elohim said, Do not eat of it, nor touch it, lest you die. And then Nahash said to the woman, You shall certainly not die. For Elohim knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes shall be open, and you shall be like Elohim, knowing good and evil. And the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and it was pleasant to the eyes. And the tree and a tree desirable to make one wise, and she took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made loin coverings for themselves. And they heard the voice of Yahweh Elohim walking about in the garden toward. Uh, the wind of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of Yahuwah Elohim among the trees of the garden. Yahuwah Elohim called unto Adam and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. And he said, Who made you know that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree which I commanded you? That you should not eat? And the man said, The woman whom you gave me, gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. And Yahweh said to the woman, What is this that you have done? And the woman said, The Nahash deceived me, and I ate. And Yahweh Elohim said to the Nahash, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all livestock and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you are to go. Eat the dust all the days of your life. And I put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. He shall crush your head and you shall crush his heel. To the woman he said, I greatly increase your sorrow and your conception and your conception. Bring forth children in pain. And your desire is for your husband, and he does rule over you. And to the man he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, saying, Do not eat of it, cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you are to eat of it all the days of your life. And the ground shall bring forth thorns and thistles for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you are to eat bread until you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken. For dust you are, and dust you return. And the man called his wife's name Hava, or Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. And Yahuwah Elohim made coats of skin for the man and his wife and dressed them. And Yahuwah, said, and Yahuwah Elohim said, See, the man has become like one of us, to know good and evil. And now lest he put out his hand, and take also the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. So Yahweh Elohim sent out 
sent him out to the excuse me so Yahuwah Elohim sent him out of the garden of Eden till the ground to till the ground from which he was taken and he drove the man out and he placed cherubim at the east of the garden uh, he placed cherubim at the east of the garden of Eden and a flaming sword which turned every way to guard the way to the tree of life all right that's day one uh, tomorrow we're gonna start day two reading another three chapters in uh, Genesis 4 through 6. Shalom.